how um, the um, the funnel uh, the, uh, the the group funnels um, app works. So this is how I um, managed to automatically get people into my autoresponder. I happen to use Actionetics, but it works perfectly with any autoresponder, uh, Aweber, GetResponse, Infusionsoft, no matter what, it all works. So this first stage is simply getting the data from Facebook um, when people try to join your group uh, into, uh, into a Google Sheet. And there's a couple of steps that happen there. So first of all, uh, once you've installed the app, you'll see that magically um, in your Facebook groups admin section, this little bit here appears and and you'll what you'll end up doing is I'm not going to go into huge amounts of detail. I'm just just giving you a general idea of of how the process works. But you have a Google sheet. Obviously, it has its own URL. So you're going to paste the URL uh, in this box here. And uh once you've done that, uh, so actually, if I actually paste that, you'll actually see something. You'll see this thing, guys, says success. Uh, you know, the URL is put in there. And now I have all of these people who uh, want to join um, the group. So what I would do is I, I've, I've asked a few different questions. I always ask uh, what email address um, they, you know, what's their email address. And also uh, by putting in the email address, they're simultaneously agreeing not to spam the group. So if you've only got three questions, what I try to do is roll in a few different things at the same time. So like, I'll, I'll let you into my group, but I want to make sure that you're not going to spam the group. And the best way of you um, acknowledging that um, is getting an email address. And the good thing is as well, well, now we know who they are. And if they're, if they're real, um, we can email them and say, look, please stop doing it. Obviously we can message them as well, but we may not be friends with them. So we've, we've got a few different reasons why we can actually keep that in, um, we can keep that in the same uh, question. Uh, and then I, I love asking this open question, which is what's your story? So it's like deliberately super vague. So uh, some people like this person um, have written something very, very short. I'm in marketing. Um, but sometimes they write some, some really uh, sort of long, uh, you know, long answers, which are really cool to read. And then I ask, well, so well, how did you find out about the, um, the um, Funnel Jedi Club in this case? And they and they they give um, uh, uh, you know they give answers there. So um, yeah, so once you go through, you say, well, okay, there's a couple of people here who haven't answered the questions, and you can either you, know, you can decide to to message them and say, hey, you know, you wanted to join the group, but you kind of um, you know you, you didn't answer the, answer the questions, and um, so I can't let you in. But if you don't mind, I'll you know I'll um I'll, I'll what I'll do is the easiest way is I'll reject your request, and here's the link to try again. Because normally this happens when people try to join via their mobile phone, they, they don't actually see the questions. So, um, so you know, give them a chance, you know, just say, look, you know, it's difficult to find those questions again. You can find them, again, once you've already tried to join a group, but it's easier just to say, look, it's easier for you to find if I just decline your your request and um you know and then i'll um i'll basically you know let you in again in this case i don't have time i'm just going to decline those two and uh you know and i'll what i'm going to show you is how quick group funnels actually deals with this so first of all what i'm going to do is quickly uh, i just want to clear the spreadsheet that i have in group funnels because uh, sometimes i forget to clean it out all right, so um, I've just done that, so just offline there for a second. Um, and if I click on this button here, this is the app, uh, what it'll do is it'll bring up this window here, um, and I cleaned out. I, I, I run a number of different groups, but um, here, this is the one we're dealing with right now, and I've cleaned it out so there's no data in here. And now what happens, if I click on approval, I've just... So I've declined the ones I wanted to decline. Now click on approval, and it just automatically approves the the five people there. And the Group Funnels app has captured all of the data uh, from um, yeah, it's captured all the data in Facebook. So it saves you a ton of time of actually needing to um, cut and paste. And then once we've done that, 
I'm going to push that. I can now actually push that to the Google Sheets. This is an open Google Sheet here. So I actually have a, a Google Sheet underlying here, which um, stores all of the data for all the members. So I click on push to Google Sheet. It says success. Data push successfully. And we're done. Now, as it happens, I then use um, an app called Zapier. And what Zapier does, you can set it up so it detects any new entries in the Google Sheet. Super simple to set up. Um, it, it, you, you just you put a rule in that says um, if there's a new entry in a row, um, then then fire off, then send all the information into an opt-in form in ClickFunnels in my case. But you, if you're not using ClickFunnels, you will use you know, something similar for Aweber or, or, or GetResponse and things like that. So they're always separate instructions that are for you, depending on your setup, whether it's Zappy with GetResponse, Zappy with ClickFunnels, Zappy with whatever. Uh, but this is basically how I, I do it. And, and of course, because I'm using ClickFunnels Action Ethics, it then immediately fires off a welcome email to those people who have just joined. So that's pretty cool. So um, I'll make sure, I'm not sure where I'm putting this video, but uh, if it's on YouTube or somewhere, I'll make sure I put a link um, below or on the page. If it's on the landing page, you can click a button um, where you can see how to get the, um, how you, you can see how to get this very, very cool app. Thanks for watching.